Evening y'all, Chief Prepper here. Just wanted to go over this real quick. These are salt tablets, alkali tablets, whatever you want to call them. I take them because I sweat. And I get horrible cramps if I don't. I recently placed a special order for them through HEB. And a week later I hadn't heard anything and went back into the store. And uh, they hadn't got them. But they had four boxes, so I bought all four. Asked them to order two more. As of right now, they are back ordered unavailable. The good news is, I keep with the four boxes, I probably got close to at least 10 months worth of stuff. I take them to three to four times a day in the summer, sometimes five or six. I'm sweating a lot, and if I'm sweating a lot, I'm outside. Uh, alternatives to that is salting your food giving medical advice this is just opinion based on experience or have dill pickles around now, everything is a limited quantity because you know there's so much shit in the world going bad going wrong so you need to stack multiple capabilities for things that you know you need so the magic pepper was on yesterday I'm trying to watch it <sighs> Excuse me. In and amongst everything else, I've been knee deep in car work. And I'm down to uh, one thing on the Pontiac that's back running, and uh, I took it apart a week ago. This past, well, yeah, a week ago. No, I took it apart Saturday, but I parked it uh, Friday. It had a squeak and uh, it wasn't grinding, but it was it was something was wrong on the front left. And I took it apart after having bearings on hand, wound up being brake pads, or if it's red already scored the rotor. Uh, spent an hour trying to beat out one bearing race. I got everything out, the other bearing race, and all the bearings out, but the one race I couldn't get out. So I ordered rotors. So it has new rotors, new bearings bearing seals and uh, new pads and so that should not be an issue anymore uh, the one thing I have is I can't get the uh, wiper motor to squirt water so um, I don't know what it is I was told to look for a fuse and I will but I'm pretty sure I already did because uh, I asked him how hard it was to change out the controller the steering column and it's probably going to be a booger. Tomorrow the car gets window tinted again. It was tinted but it was all peeling old and, and not in good shape. So I was on Gray Man's channel tonight during his live and I said and I will keep saying this you need to live a little right now. Uh, everything points to a shit hist of man event coming. Not, no longer if. It's coming. My question is, how long will it be and will you be able to survive? So, if you can, I'm not telling you not to spend money you don't have, but if you have enough money to take you and your family out to eat once a week, do it. If you can take a short trip somewhere, do it. Because when shit hits the fan and gets here, there will be no trips and there will be no eating out. 90% of your time will be taken up with food and security and you'll have to squeeze in sleep, personal hygiene and everything else in that 10% of the time. Uh, sleeping 8 to 12 hours or it's four, 4 to 6 hours or 8 hours is over. You're going to get like 3 or 4 every night. You know, there's going to have to be a guard, someone on guard 24 hours a day. So Magic Purple brought up uh, having the capability of a drone. I have a drone. I need to learn to fly it. So a list of things you do. You know, long list. I need to work on my one ton. Get the hired help to actually do it. I don't do the work anymore. Uh, he changed up the rotors on the Pontiac and did all the work on it. I watched and supervised. He did the work. Uh, the front tank on the one ton needs to come down. I need to 
a place to fill in that hose with an original equipment hose. The one I fabricated keeps giving me problems and it won't fill the tank up because it's inverted. Um, inverted is in, it's filling it. This is the filler, it's below the entrance of the tank, so it took three gallons and that was it. Had the problem before, just been making do. Get that fixed. Um, stack capabilities. Learn how to use them. You know, hunting, fishing, growing uh, vegetables, garden. Uh, you know, sewing. Imagine not being able to. <laughs> go to the store and buy clothes. You know, I keep saying that over and over. How they recommend you get some shoes. You know, there's been stuff come to light where there's malware and uh, the military stuff from China. From China, we have uh, a bio lab in California, illegal bio lab run by China. We have Chinese fighting age males coming across the border. You know, we have possibly a base in Cuba. How much more information do you need to know that something bad is coming? You know, and China's buying up, you know, everybody's talking about China buying up farmland in the U.S. Here's a clue for you. Back in 2019, in the fall semester, or no, 20, in the spring semester, I was taking my uh, capstone course for business management ready to graduate. My professor says she's connected to a PhD. She knows people. China's buying up food plots worldwide. So, you know, if they can't kick your ass in a hand-to-hand -hand fight, then guess what? They're going to start your country and your countrymen out into submission. You don't think they will, they will. So. Anyway, I just really wanted to cover that fact that those, uh, I call them salt tablets, and they taste like salt, but they got other stuff in them, magnesium and some other stuff. They're alkaline tablets to replace what you lose when you sweat. Back when they're available. Here. So, this is the first thing. Yeah, you know, I'm getting ready. I have to order some of my meds from the VA again. I got uh, a 90 day supply recently of some stuff. Make sure you're exercising. You know, realize when you go from a world where you drive everywhere and you walk everywhere and your feet and your back and everything fucking hurts. Imagine having to walk five miles to get five gallons of water. Maybe ten gallons of water. Imagine pulling that on a cart. Just, you know, people don't understand how bad it's going to be. I'm so trying to fucking scare you. But, you know, they keep talking about power outages and blackouts and stuff. What are you gonna do? Can you live without electricity? Can you keep yourself cool? I mean, one of the reasons I sweat so much is because I'm not climatized to the weather outside. So when I go out, pretty much after 10 in the morning, I'm sweating a lot. So. You need to shoot for being able to survive 90 to 100 days after shit is finished. lot less people at that point. So anyway, information is knowledge and power. Live a little, prep a lot. She prepper out.